Hey there. Hey, I was checking out capacity on this machine, and it's kind of surprising uh, what I found out. And, uh, and uh, I'm doing some things with some trucks. I'll take the camera loose and have a look at it. I hope you're all doing good. It is still pretty chilly outside. Now, they say you can um, extend the tailstock uh, four inches, okay, safely. You got to be careful. You, know, you don't want to take it off too much further. Okay, now this is a, a, about as short a chuck as, as possible. It's a Cushman 8 inch direct mount D16. So it doesn't have a back plate. As a matter of fact, this is another convertible chuck. And you can install this on an A-type spindle, but you have to like totally disassemble the chuck and rebuild it onto the A spindle. And these are fairly common. And uh, I, this one I picked up on eBay and it's in really pretty good shape. So it, it needs the jaws grab though. Hold on, let me get that tape here. So from the from the tip of the jaws here. To, well, the center of this cheap table set up is uh, just about 31 inches. So I can get 31 inches in there. Now, over here at the Monarch 10 E, here, let me get this out of the way. And this is actually the same chuck, a Cushman 8 inch direct mount to uh, D13. And uh, from the tip of the jaws to the tip of the center is right at 18 inches. And that's overhanging uh, the tailstock about two inches. <laughs> so you can squeeze 18 inches in there. Now, the carriage is all the way over. And this is another thing to think about um, on capacity. Now on this uh, 10 E here, now this, this is as far as you can cut. It's about 13 inches, maybe 14, if you know. Let's see with that parallel with the cross slide, right at 14 inches is uh, you can cut in one swoop. <laughs> okay. Now, over here, the carriage is moved all the way over to the right. And, and let me get that uh, tape up there. So we're looking at about 22 inches. Let's see, to the edge of the cross slide. Yeah, right about 22 inches, maybe just a tad more. So that's not very much capacity, you know, for making a cut. And you have to kind of take that into account. So I thought I'd point that out on, on shorter bed machines like these. Um, the, um, you know, you kind of lose some capacity that you wouldn't notice if this had uh, 60 inch centers. Now, another thing, if you think about this, this thing cuts, uh, uh, at the most 22 and a half inches, but the carriage length is, uh, let's see, what's that at? Right about 26 inch, a 26 inch carriage. So the carriage is a couple inches longer than the actual cut the machine will do. And that's one reason why lathes like this kind of tend to hold accuracy pretty good. And the little Monarch 10 E too, see? Yeah, so that's kind of how that is. You're really quite limited. <laughs> I thought you might find that interesting. Now, another thing, this, uh, this chuck here needs its jaws reground. And uh, this chuck here, when I first tested it on the machine, it had about uh, 30 thousandths run out. 
Then I took the pins out of the chuck and discovered that it had a lot of slop on the um, taper, on the locating taper. And, the, and then the locating taper was a little bit uh, kind of stretched or something, you know, like the chuck had been run loose maybe or something or come loose. Well, anyway, on an earlier video, I took this chuck and laid it down on the table of the jig bore and refaced the uh, mounting uh, face of the chuck using a wall hopper head to cut it, you know, to face it. And then I used the tree uh, uh, taper boring head to recut the taper. And it's got a really good fit now. And uh, the uh, run out went from a little over 30 thousandths to about 7 thousandths on, on the best pinion. But I still want to um, grind the jaws. And uh, I can show you something real quick. Hold on. I think you can see that. I'm going to loosen this and see if I can show you something. I'm just going to slightly tighten this, but, but it's, it's too tight to turn easy. Now watch this. Look, I can take this part. It's grabbed at the back and shake it around. Can you see that? So the jaws are contacting more toward the back. So I'm going to regrind the jaws pretty quick. I got to make a little uh, fixture for loading for this size chuck. And uh, we'll get it so it uh, contacts first towards uh, the front. Reverse, uh, this is what uh, jaws tend to do when they're wearing. So I have it so it first contacts at the front, then the back part of the jaw lays in. And that's really how to hold it tight. But once you put some torque on it here, not too much, it, uh, it grabs pretty good. So this chuck is still usable right now at 7,000 run out with a little bit of... Uh, uh, jaw splay, if you will. Okay, I will be back, and uh, thanks for tuning in today, and, and uh, have a good Sunday afternoon. Hey, one more thing on Chucks. Um, one time Buck did offer a back plate to adapt a six inch uh, adjust to truck chuck to uh, D16 spindle and uh, I got this old uh, Buck's uh, six inch six jaw and uh, Will the Blade gave me some old adapters and I think I can uh, pull one together and add a piece to it and make a back plate and adapt this uh, to this old Axelson spindle and I think I find it a lot handier um, than the collet chuck um, on here. So I don't know. I think I'm going to stick that on there. So there's always fun things to do with uh, uh, work holding anyway. <laughs> and uh, hey, if anybody out there has got an old uh, 10 double E with an inch metric uh, gearbox, let me know because uh, uh, the blade need one for his. Um, uh, 30 inch uh, length bed restoration. It'd just be a fantastic addition. So if anyone's got one of those, uh, uh, let me know. And uh, this uh, monster here is still for sale. I'm going to sell this one and get some other ones in here. And the reason I'm going to sell this one is uh, I don't need that uh, inch metric uh, capability like right now. And uh, that uh, is one reason why. And uh, the uh, uh, 
uh, condition of the machine is uh, in such perfect condition that uh, I really don't need that uh, kind of accuracy in my old age. <laughs> I, I, and I can uh, uh, find uh, older ones that are quite accurate too, but uh, this one here is quite a special lathe and it's just a little bit uh, more than I need at this time in my life. So this wonderful thing's still for sale. And uh, I'm going to uh, do some demos on it here pretty quick. So uh, stay tuned for that. Okay. And if you got an extra gearbox, let me know or know where an old rusted Hulk is. A lot of these uh, lathes were uh, drug out in the weather before they were sold. Okay. Bye-bye.